Hello everybody, how's it going? Carl Screezler here and I hope you're all well and welcome back to iRacing. It's been some time since I last uh, jumped on to the sim and did some recording so I thought it's about time to do that. Today we are going to be taking out the Formula Ford 1600 car um, here at Tsukuba uh, International Circuit. Very, very short track here. Um, very, very quick lap indeed. So I'm hoping I'm going to do well here today. Um, I have just recently done a video, I don't know if I'm going to publish it yet, but uh, talking about this, the Trophy AI uh, driver coach, uh, which has been incredible, um, very, very cool technology. Of course, head over to Drive61 for more information and Trophy AI for the information on this one. It's not yet released to the public, it's still in early beta access. Um, you can apply to join it and they are accepting members. It is free as well and it will teach you, it will basically coach you like an actual driver coach. It's very, very cool stuff. Really, really handy. Uh, it's only on a select few vehicles. Um, I guess that's probably something that I, I can show because uh, they are talking about that. Um, so there are only certain vehicles that are selected for it. So Ferrari Challenge, uh, lots of GT4, lots of GT3 stuff, uh, lots of the rookie series as well. Um, the IRO4, the F3, the Formula V, the Formula Ford, um, and the Renault Clio as well. So not all cars are yet um, implemented, not all circuits are implemented in certain series, but it's been really, really handy. And um, yeah, it's been helping me improve my lap times um, by just those few tenths of a second, which are helping me a little bit. So I'm hoping to put that in action today. So we'll see how that works um, for this race, I guess. 10 cars, of course, Formula Ford, uh, it's rookie series. So, um, you know, it's not, uh, it, it's one of those series where, you know, people are learning. I've got the third highest I rating in the series by the looks of it. So, you know, technically I should be P3. However, things can go wrong. Uh, of course, new drivers could be much quicker than me. But we'll find out how this one goes now, I guess. So we'll see how this goes here at Tsukuba. Um, it is a very short track, of course. So it does not take long to do a lap here. So we'll get onto our qualifying lap in a moment. Very fast corners as well. So only a couple of braking spots on this track. Mid apex speed is crucial and also corner exit speed is vital here uh, because that's gonna depend how fast you're gonna be on the lap. Apologize about the noise of my rig. It's very loud, I know. Not what we want, a little bit loose on the ex mid apex of the corner for our first lap. Let's see how we do. Bit of a lock up there, that's not good. That's gonna slow us down. Don't wanna to take too much curb on the inside because it will spin the car.
because it's a very undulating track as well, so it's very easy to lock the tyres up here. much better that time round and that will drop us into the uh, sub one uh, the one second margin so 1.7 second not the fastest lap but that's okay it's currently got us sitting in P3 for qualifying so we'll see how this race goes on so Fastest lap, 59.6, that is a very quick lap. Um, pretty evenly matched between myself and Matt Davy there, so it's looking good. So we'll see how this race unfolds. when we get there. Just taking the time just to get some extra little adjustments in the car. been a while since I last raced a single seater so feeling very out of practice um, I've been doing a lot of races on the ovals recently unsurprisingly if you know me um, had some good runs in the truck series and Ansgar so I'm pretty happy with that I'm currently in like p20 in the championship so something um, but that's with missing a fair few races from spinal surgery so you know uh, that's not terrible. So, yeah, spinal surgery's gone well as well. Um, I've not talked about that actually on the channel. So, spinal surgery's gone very well. Um, I'm able to use my left leg again, which is so nice. Oh, it's nice to be able to use my left leg again. It's been so long since I've been having to, you know, I've been having to right foot break everything on in sim rigs. Um, but even like changing um, gear in my car has been just painful. Um, so having that pain alleviated from my left leg has been, oh, it's been good. It's been very good indeed. So yeah, it's nice to nice to be back and. Uh, well, it's some health as well. Uh, I still struggle a little bit when I've been doing it too much. Um, I struggle when I've been doing a long race. So I'm still working up fitness, which is, well, fun. <laughs> so that's been a, a constant. Just getting back to fitness has been very tricky indeed. Um, and that's something that's going to take time, obviously. That's something I've just got to accept and uh, just take my time to get back into uh, some form of fitness which I'm doing uh, which is nice I'm getting there um, it's just a long road of recovery of course and recovering from uh, having a disc removed from your back is you know it takes a bit of time good news is back pain has been reduced significantly as well so I mean all in all, it's been a very, very good situation. So just looking at the timing screen, looks like we're going to be starting from P3 in this one. So it'll be nice to see what we can do in this race. And, uh, well, hopefully we get a good result. That's my, that's my plan, anyway. 
whether that happens or not is another thing entirely. Uh, you never know how a race is going to go. It may go absolutely terrible. If you're looking at the screen as well and thinking, uh, why is everything missing? That's because I'm using an ultra wide monitor. Um, so I'm just recording the center section of my screen just so you can see what I'm doing when I'm driving. Okay, race will be gridding up in a couple of moments. I've been doing a lot of commentary as well recently, so it's nice to actually get back into a car and race because I've missed that. So here we are on the grid here at Sakuba. I'm going to be starting from P3. So a little Formula Ford 1600 engine, this thing weighs as much as uh, a loaf of bread, so it is very, very quick. Um, its uh, Tyres are pretty rock solid as well, um, but it does give you some nice grip. And the car feels, you know, it's just a fun little car to learn to race in. Really nice little racing car in that respect. Bogged down a little bit on the start. Get everything up to temperature as well. That's something you've just got to be careful of on the opening lap in these things is brakes and everything will be very cold very easy to make a mistake brakes will lock up a lot on the opening lap as well best entry and exit there. Big lock up there. It's going to leave me open. Good start, bad couple of first laps, that's what I'll say to that one. Old mate in front of us just does the same thing, but doesn't get quite as deep in the corner. Let's get settled in now. Let's 
Guy's making a fair few mistakes under braking, so we might be able to get a move underneath him in a couple of moments. there. It's going to leave me open here. Sounds like somebody's coming to pit line. Got to get settled in now. Making some silly mistakes in the start of this race, which is not good. flag up for some reason. Somebody sent it a bit too hard obviously. I'm starting to hit that point now, unfortunately, where I'm struggling for pace just because my arms are getting all heavy and wobbly. This is the frustrating thing about driving with a disability. Is it might be quick for a few laps, but eventually it catches up with you. and went all wrong there.
feels a bit like the rear tyres, sort of a maybe a little bit warm. He was not backing off. So instead of having a rep, just lifting a little bit so we don't both crash. And there we go, P4. So, 0x as well, that's always nice. And even after that, just 13 laps around this place, I am absolutely spent, um, unfortunately. Shaking and... Uh, and... Um, yeah absolutely done which is so frustrating um, for myself because you know obviously I want to race more but I physically can't uh, but that is the problem of being disabled I guess um, but all in all pretty happy with that. One mistake cost me, I reckon, P2. Uh, that lockup really cost me, but other than that, solid little race. Um, if we look at lap times, I managed to dip into the 59s, which is awesome. Um, who came P2? Sorry, Matt Davey. He had some better laps on me. So, you know, again, that's what we like to see. Um, and uh, the, 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 the winner, lap times consistently like way in the 59s. So, you know, was not going to catch them. 
but uh, yeah, I had some good runs, runs, good run there, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed, pretty happy with that, you know. Oh, it's absolutely killed me. <laughs> uh, fun. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I'm hopefully going to be back with a bit more content soon. It's just been hard making any just because I've been feeling so rough. So I um, apo apo apologise for that. But uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more stuff soon. Uh, until then, it's me, Carl Screws, wishing you well. Thank you. Bye-bye.